Hi, I'm Michael Cranford. Join me over the next 10 weeks on this journey while I'll remove the mysteries surrounding the trendy words sacred geometry and Fibonacci, and then demonstrate its simplicity and importance of you owning this knowledge. Over the last 15 years while studying in the Costa Rican rainforest, I've observed these elements of design working together, applying sacred geometry to harness energy from nature unlimited amounts of free energy coming from nature. Within the randomness of nature's millions of shapes and forms, we find repeated patterns. Combine these patterns with all the other elements of nature's design, shape, and color, as well as texture, and you end up with the constitution of all life in creation. Let me show you the way to reduce our fossil fuel dependencies by applying this biometric geometric pattern to our daily lives, our health, our transportation, and our heating and cooling. Showing us how to move air and water to create energy is a unique gift from nature. It's simple, it's smart, and it's free. The pattern which nature uses is deep-rooted in the science of sacred geometry, organic earthly measurements. With the repetition of this sequence of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, it goes on forever. Known as Fibonacci, or sacred geometry. From this evolves forms and shapes for all living and non-living matter, each with unique geometric blueprints. Sacred geometry is based on the knowledge and wisdom held within these precise geometric blueprints. Mammals, fish, reptiles, birds, and insects all have specific and very unique ways for harnessing energy. Their form, combined with the texture, color, shape, and pattern of their fur, fins, scales, and feathers, accomplishes this function. Take these examples from nature. Form, color, and pattern all working together harmoniously to harness energy. Zebra stripes creates convection current in between each color, which in turn generates an aura of cool energy. Whereas penguins use this color variation combined with their pattern of spiral huddling to create heat. Each species uses form, color, and pattern to harness convection current, known as negative ionization, O3 static, or ozone. This is all usable energy. This same phenomena occurs on a larger scale when the ocean currents hit an island. The flow of the water splits into two opposing whirling vortices below and above the surface. In the center of these vortices, or eddies as they're often called, is where the highest concentration of negative ionization exists. In the eye of the hurricane, the middle of the tornado, inside the tube of a wave, or at the bottom of a waterfall. This is where verve begins, energy, life, vigor, and vitality. In conclusion, because we've arrived at a time when the end of energy resources is upon us, we have no choice but to finally take a serious look at how to mimic nature, to harness free energy using numerical sequences of Fibonacci and the subtle wisdom found in sacred geometry. Next week we'll build a Nikola Tesla Vorta swimming pool that actually uses gravity to create electricity. Join us! Duplicate the energy of a river. We're doing it.